welcome back to Angel's Light to Row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for October 18th through October the 24th. And without further ado, we're going right into your lover bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. Angels, what are the messages for Pisces? For those of you lovers, yes, 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 angels, positive energy, thank you. We have commitment and rainbows. In our forest, no trees debate, rainbows stand with love and not hate. It definitely, I am def definitely picking up a commitment coming together a vibe i feel like you are you guys are somebody is getting um their wish come true this week in their relationship whether someone wants to have a baby whether want someone wants to get engaged or maybe i shouldn't have said that <laughs> um maybe someone wants to get married or move in together whatever it is it feels like you guys are leveling up this week now pisces let's take a peek shall we it, let's take a peek mm -hmm, into your singles energy for Pisces. What are the messages for Pisces for this week? Hmm. Ah, I guess we better reshuffle. Angels, what are the messages? We have the silver waterfall and courage young heart. It feels like, look, 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 stand tall. Don't let the love decrease. You are a warrior of peace. Please don't give up on love. I feel that some of you are so emotional, so tender when it comes to wanting love that you're almost at the point where you just want to give up. But stand tall. You can, you can have love. You just have to have the courage to keep moving forward in love. Yes. Okay. All right. Just keep moving forward in looking for love. All right. Now, I know you've been through a lot, Pisces. Yes, you have, but keep going, okay? All right, now, angels, high vibrations, high vibrations. For Pisces, for seven little days. Angels, what are the messages for Pisces for this week? Angels, hmm, what are the messages for Pisces? Moving on to my mama's deck for lovely Pisces. Thank you, and, and thank you. Hmm. What, what's going, what's going on? Tell me, I'm just kidding. What's going on for Pisces? There we go. Now let's go ahead and add one. Ah, oh, we forgot the dragon's deck. Yes, yes, yes. Angels, we're looking for high vibrations for the dragon's deck. Angels, what are the messages? We need some positive energy. Remember the dragon's deck is always, always red right side up to get out the goodness of the message. Now, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. We're topping it off with the hummingbird deck and we want one from the Buddha deck to get the spiritual message for the week and that is action. Please take action this week. Now, all right, let's take a peek here. Ha, ha, ha. Major theme for the week is the king, the king of wands with the two of clubs, growth, and the five of hearts. So I am picking up here. You are sitting on your throne. You are taking a look at everything in your world. You're having conversations about the power that you seek and with there's growth here. There's a lot of growth and somebody's feelings are actually changing. They may even be yours. And I feel like, I feel like now that you are sitting in this position where you can actually see things clear, you, you, it's almost like you're sitting at the top of the mountain. Therefore, you can look down and see, oh, okay, nothing is hidden from me anymore. I can see exactly what's going on with the two of clubs. You're ready to talk about it. This is growth for you. Whatever it is that you can visualize now, whatever it is that you can see now, it is changing your feelings, okay? Now, when we look in the recent past, we have the sun card reversed with the nine of diamonds, the stealth card, 
and the nine of diamonds again. So in the recent past, with the sun card reversed, things didn't seem to be going your way. It felt like you had to let go of a lot quicker than you imagined. With the nine of diamonds, there was a lot of endings in the past, and I feel like it was, if it wasn't an ending, it was letting go. You were just letting go of something that you valued. So maybe it was a value that you let go. You thought that you valued something, but you really didn't, and you let it go. Now, that's in the recent past. Now, in the middle of the week, we have the Six of Pentacles reversed with the King of Clubs, the Success card, and the Five of Diamonds. So, in the middle of the week, it feels like things are not financially going your way. It does not seem fair. But with the King of Clubs, you can still get in control of everything. It doesn't, that's okay. It doesn't have to be fair because you know what? The King of Clubs is going to make sure that everything, you are going to make sure that if it's not fair, if something is short, you're going to make sure it's taken care of and that there lies your success so that changes can happen in your world, whether they are financial changes, whether they are value changes, whether they are where you live or changes at work, whatever it is that is not fair. Oh, no, no, no. You're putting your stamp of approval on it and you're going to make it happen. Okay. Now, when, yeah, yeah, you're, go, you're going to take action. Now, when we look at your bonus, we have the six of swords. Yes. With the five of clubs kindness and the six of diamonds so i am picking up at the end of the week i see someone or you moving away from a situation or you're thinking about moving away from the situation but somebody changes their mind either you or someone else and i feel like if someone does please 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 remain kind in the situation because this is karma we're talking about so if someone is thinking about moving in a different direction and then they change their mind don't get upset with them still be loving and still be kind okay even if that means you maybe you decided to move into another direction or take a trip or something of that nature um and you change your mind be kind and gentle to yourself okay all right now Let's take a peek at your bonus. You have the lover's card, yes, with the nine of pentacles, the four of diamonds, boundaries, and the ace of hearts. So I feel like with um, love, Yes. No, this is the lover's card, but remember, this could be love as in you and a child or you and a pet or you and your mom or dad or sister or brother, whoever you have that deep bond with. Now, this also could be a romantic partner that we're talking about here. It makes you feel like you are in charge of this relationship, not in, in charge of it, but you feel powerful in it, right? With the four of diamonds, there's a lot of security around this love bond but you need to set boundaries. You need to set some boundaries. And this ace of hearts, this is you. This is you right here. Everything is going to go well in this love bond, but you have to set some boundaries. I, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news. And you're probably thinking, that's right. I do need to set boundaries. If you want things to continue to move forward in this love bond, then it's time to set some boundaries. It feels good. It feels delicious. It feels wonderful, but set your boundaries okay so moving forward someone's changing their mind if they're moving they're changing their mind if you're moving you're changing your mind if you're thinking about it if you're thinking about moving you're changing your mind okay all right so i'm going to leave that there's a lot of change this week so i i'm going to leave that there i send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way